Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. It's Josh, your host, Angela Fishing Adventures. I know we're, uh, the title of this video is like your ultimate live, ultimate live imaging pole system. And it is, it's just, gotta get a few reps in and let the bow sing a bit. We have a shot bet at the store this year. 260 bucks a pop, there's what eight of us. Winner takes all, biggest archery whitetail. So I'm out here grinding, I'm gonna take some Easy money from the boys, probably buy some more sick stuff with it. Um, so, yeah. If you don't want to watch this, this is only be like a minute and a half, two minutes of me shooting the arrows, letting you guys know where I'm at. We're shooting at 60 yards right now. Um, skip ahead and we're gonna talk about how Lake of the Woods has developed the ultimate live imaging pull system for your live imaging units. All right, let's go see how we did. Oh, oh, oh. that is looking good for 60 yards. I think that's uh, a dead deer if you ask me. So we're gonna end off on a high note. So we're gonna put the bow away. We're gonna head over to the boat. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about for this ultimate pole system. Okay, and before we get into the whole pole system talk, I feel like there isn't a lot of videos that have been talking about why you'd want to put your uh, transducer on a pole. So let's start from the beginning here. If you have an electric steer trolling motor, so for example in Minkota it's a power drive, Tarova or Altera, you cannot mount it directly to your shaft because you have the mechanism, the big black piece on your trolling motor and then that pole actually slides up and down so the bottom of the head, the actual motor part will slide up and then click into place. So if you had your transducer mounted on the pole, it would just get destroyed, it's just, you can't do it. We do sell a precision sonar mount that kind of adjusts for that. It's like 400 bucks, it's a little bit expensive, um, but if you wanted to keep put it on your trolling motor, you can. But for electric steer trolling motors, we don't recommend attaching it directly to the shaft of your trolling motor. And then you got cable steer trolling motors. Now, a cable steer motor is like a Minn Kota Fortrex, a Minn Kota Altrex, or even the Garmin Force. Um, and the big difference there is the pole doesn't actually slide up and down the housing. So when it gets deployed and then comes back to be stowed, the whole system moves together. And then that way, if you had your live imaging transducer mounted on the pole, it wouldn't be sliding up and crushing your cord or anything. So um, the, the bonus with the cable steer motor is it's, it's instantaneous, it's responsive. So the foot pedal goes up and down, that's it. And it's just as quick as a dime. As soon as you can turn it, it turns. And the one other thing too, is if you're jigging lots of walleye. I also forgot to mention guys that the link for the pull system will be in the description below. If you want to go onto the website, browse it out, check it out, order one for yourself. We do ship free across Canada. So just thought I'd put that in here. Let's get back to the video right now. Um, or you're, you know, fishing some hums for smallmouth. It's nice if you're trying to always look exactly where it is and you just want to be using your foot. So that on a, uh, cable steer motor you can definitely mount your live imaging unit to now here's the thing about the doing that though if you use your spot lock a lot which is your self anchoring device you press the button and it keeps you in the spot if you have your live imaging transducer mounted to that trolling motor and then you hit spot lock and you're jigging or you're casting as soon as that motor moves to keep you on the spot which you told it to keep you on that spot lock you lose your angle of your transducer. So say you're in some bigger waves that's kind of going left to right. Well, every time that trolling motor turns at all, it's taking that live image beam with it. So it can be a little bit frustrating if you're, if you have a cable steer motor and you want to use your spot lock all the time and it's just not, it's not going to perform what, how you need to and how you'd want it to. So that is when a pole system comes into play. And we feel like we have designed the best pole system that you can buy on the market right now. The big benefit here is when you actually have the pull system in, just like this, I'm gonna slide up, show you. This goes in, right? Pull back, locks into place. Whichever way this handle, if you can see, is pointing, ah, right here, that is which way you're gonna have your uh, transducer faced. So if you're standing up here, once again, you can adjust this because we thought about everything. So this goes down. Tighten this back up. We're aiming that way. As soon as we turn it, we know that we're turning the transducer too. So if you're using your spot lock on your trolling motor, perfect. It's keeping the spot. Don't have to worry about no anchor or anything. 
And then here, if you're jigging or if you want to do your own scanning or you want to look around, you can just do that manually and it's going to stay in that position for you. Um, especially if you're fishing with other people. Sometimes we'll, people will put this in the middle of the boat. They'll flip it so it's going with the boat and that way multiple pe people can be fishing off the same transducer, the same screen. So uh, yeah, this is the pole. This is the awesomeness. Let's dive into it. I'm going to explain it to you in more detail right now. Yeah, pole system. So let's just cut to the chase. You buy any live imaging unit, you know, a, a Lowrance, a Humminbird, a Garmin, a transducer, 2,000 bucks, right? Head unit, whatever. The important piece is that that transducer $2,000 and you want to mount it on something that is going to keep it protected, keep it safe, and keep it long lasting because you don't want to be going through transducers. That's going to be quite expensive. So there's some other options out on the market and uh, we at Sports Headquarters felt like they were okay options. They did the job. However, we thought that we could do better and offer a superior product, and we believe that we have done that. So basically throughout all last fall and ice season, we've been testing this pole, beating the crap out of it. My transducer has had uh, its fair share of bumps and stuff as we were testing out new ones. Be careful about it. There's also a lot of mosquitoes. It might be slapping a lot. But we've basically come out with this here. This is the pole system. Um, it's awesome, it's strong, it's durable, and it's got a lot of uh, thought behind it. So first things first, I'm gonna notice that there's no clips or anything to hold the um, cord through. The cord actually goes right through down to the bottom. So it's protected at all times, it's not getting tangled around. Super easy, just no brainer, right? The second thing which I think really shines here um, for our pull system is the customizability of where you want to mount. So this is our collar system. It's a three pin collar. This turns, right, however you want. Now this is basically gonna slide in and allow you to adjust where you want to have the handle, right? So we have a, another collar coming up for ice fishing, so you'll be able to use this all year round. But when you're ice fishing on your knees, you wanna be hoisting it all the way up here. You don't wanna be like up at your head level, so you wanna have it nice, low down on the ground. So you can take that, adjust it there's gonna be a tripod that comes off of here and then it's nice and low right quick and easy now the unfortunate part is some of our uh, other competitors um they have one spot to mount your pole or your claw however they attach it now that might be fine ice fishing but as soon as you get in the boat you don't want to be bending over the whole time trying to turn your pole it's just it's not good it's gonna hurt your back it's just kind of annoying so comes to the summertime loosen this off put it wherever you want to go and away away you go that's it it's nice at your hip, hip level and now i know some of you think guys like you just shortened the pole don't worry it's telescopic you got lots of pole to play with with lots of pole and it's all done with this quick and easy pin clip system that goes in basically so you run your transducer pole and cord through this zigzag after you put it through and then the shortest it'll go is right here let me just see if I can uh, finagle this by myself oh sick yeah right there and now your pole cord is or cord and now your cord is coming out here this is all brushed so it's not sharp it's not going to cut it lots of room it's not going to be pinched or anything um, and like I said, with the adjustable system, you can basically double the pole, whatever you need to get down on your depth, depending on how tall your boat is, uh, to stay in the water, if you need some rougher waves, you can adjust it to that. So that is super sick. Um, now, the next thing is down here. This is where you're actually mounting your, your transducer onto. And this we just designed so that if you wanna leave it in forward mode, you can. And then for some units, uh, except for Mega Live, I believe, you can just loosen this off I haven't done it in a while and then take it angle it and then use your landscaper perspective so that's a super sweet feature too um, yeah it's just quick and easy want to make it as simple for you guys as we can alrighty folks that is gonna wrap up the live imaging pole system the best one on the market and for a price of this bad boy you're looking at $594.99 and that's including the whole pole the bottom piece to mount your transducer and the bracket, either the 45 or the 90 degree. Um, so it's very competitive pricing compared to our other 
manufacturers and stuff that are making it, as well as we are going to be selling the ice fishing collar that we haven't came out with the price with. I'm gonna kinda think it's gonna be around the $80 mark and basically slide this one off, slide the ice one on, and then you have a tripod system for the ice so you can use this thing all year round. Um, if you have any more questions at all, please feel free to leave a comments, uh, leave a comment down in the comments below. Uh, phone me at the store, the Winnipeg location, and uh, just come in and say hi, and I can explain it to you in further detail and give you a hand in any way you can. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed some uh, of the bow footage at the beginning. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed, hit that like button, it goes a long way, and uh, we'll catch you in the next episode of Manitoba Fishing Adventures. See you later.